Pocock. Senator Reynolds. Thank you very much, Acting Deputy President. Well, clearly, to the Australian people, Labor's gig is up. We said before the last election they had no economic plan, and sadly for our nation, they have every single day demonstrated they still have no economic plan for our nation. Over halfway through their term, uh, what are they doing? The only things that they've implemented are policies that were handed to them by the trade union movement and also by the left of the Labor Party. And we've seen that tragically play out in the divisive referendum that this nation has just gone through and also in the frightening industrial relations legislation they failed to tell the Australian people about before the last election. But you have a look at any other policy, and not just the absence of an economic policy, but every other policy they wasted nine years in, in opposition, not developing a single policy in defence reviews for nearly two years and no action, in emergency management, a royal commission, implementable uh, things straight away, they're still doing two reviews. The NDIS, probably the most criminal uh, lack of action on the NDIS in its history, and nearly two years later they will still be reviewing uh, while the scheme is in trouble. But most importantly for all Australians, and particularly West Australians, this government has no economic plan. Now, it is true, and this government sadly is still demonstrating, that under every Labor government that over the last 30 years, on average, Labor have delivered higher unemployment, higher interest rates, higher electricity prices and higher taxes, and now higher inflation and uh, cost of living for just about everything for Australian families. And instead, they're sitting there dealing with everything else but the actions that will drive down the cost of living for Australians. And in fact, they are pump priming the economy to make inflation even higher and the cost of living even higher on Australians. Taming inflation should be the government's first, second and third priority, but it is not. Families right across Australia, and including in Senator O'Sullivan and my home state of Western Australia, families are doing it incredibly tough. Uh, both Senator O'Sullivan and I have visited Food Bank many times, and it is absolutely heartbreaking to see what is happening. Uh, every, for every single interest rate, what, 10 or 11 is it, under Labor, food banks see uh, a significant number of increase in um, access to their uh, food supplies. And most, in, most importantly and most sadly, they are seeing over 70 per cent of the people they are now assisting are people who have never had to seek support before. They are two-income families who are absolutely struggling uh, under the cost of living pressures that this government continues to inflict. Over 1, 000, sorry, 116,000 children in Western Australia now live in severely food insecurity households this year alone. 208,000 households in Western Australia went hungry. Can you believe this? In Australia, in Western Australia, two over 200,000 households went hungry in the last 12 months due to a lack of money and having to skip meals, sometimes going for days without eating. And 23 per cent, 23 per cent of households in Western Australia with mortgages experienced food insecurity in the last year. And this is completely and utterly outrageous. But it's not only the cost of living and finding it very difficult to feed their families. Uh, the cost of petrol under this government has skyrocketed to somewhere in, in WA over to, you know, uh, $2 a litre an increase of over 10 per cent. Many families, and particularly the elderly, are no longer able to use their cars because they cannot afford the cost of petrol. Housing is such an important issue, and it is such a challenging issue for so many, for far too many West Australians. Home rental prices in Perth have increased by nearly 20 per cent in the last 12 months alone. That is a complete and utter disgrace. And despite all of the rhetoric from those opposite about homelessness, the number of people sleeping rough in Western Australia has increased by over 100 per cent since Labor came to government. 
Perth has the tightest vacancy rate, and so it goes on and on. West Australians Order, simply Senator cannot Reynolds, afford this Labor government, and shame expired, on you for doing. And the time for this